Uh, it's a pretty free Naga game for Watson. But this is not what you want from a counter pick. You don't want to have to TP your supports because this is what happens as a result. Yeah. Now they're going to take down your Broodmother, and that's going to be the first blood given to Entity Watson with an auto-attack down bottom. They try to steal that first blood. As I talk about support, Celery is a support in trouble right now. Trianto has a hard time hitting him, and Celery, quite tanky. Now with the rotation from Storm Stormer, he's really committed to this. Goes the long way. Shadow Strike is slow, but Sticky Napalm will catch Celery. But Sonic Wave now. Storm Stormer cannot get close to Quinn. Uh, is it even possible? I think he was dead once he killed Clock. He, he got baited in by the Clock. Okay. Broodmother is now in trouble though. Lasso plus a couple of hits from the Illusions. Okay. That did not work out in their favor. Mm. Quinn hunting that Storm Stormer. He knows his job this game is just to bring down this Bat Rider. The auto attacks are coming in. Quinn has a haste rune, so Sticky Nables doesn't bother him. Scroll scream of pain. Plus the auto attacks. One more hit. And it's actually going to be Quinn that gets it. Thanks to the Shadow Strike. Disruption continues this fight. Fishman is the target. And thanks to the, another scream of pain, Fishman won't TP back home. The hookshot gets blocked by a ranged creep. Salary angry with the creeps. He's a support. They've never been friends. Now he cogs, but <laughs> I think Salary's going to die here, Jenkins. In the trees he goes, but there's a Trim Protector who wants to protect those very trees. They're, they're not getting anything other than the Celery kill off of these, so it, it could be way worse for Gaming Gladiators for sure. Storm Stormer. Okay, there is the Lasso used onto Quinn. Despite the fact that Storm Stormer is slow, they still get Quinn. Storm Stormer might just die. Sonic Wave to finish him off, but Quinn does fall in exchange. Toby's the next target. They're thinking about it. Ace, though, does not want to dive to Tier 2. Another reason that the Batrider is countered. It's going to constantly purge the Napalms as Fishman might soak the gank here. Oh, hook shot. This is for Fishman. There's a Rolling Thunder blocked by the Cogs. Fishman might just die to the Spiders. They don't even need the Clockwork here. Rolling Thunder, though, inside the Cogs. Celery, though, happy that he already got the kill. And th thanks to the mech, Celery will actually survive for a while. Now the disruption saves him, and they want to punish Gatomi for this play. They will accomplish it. Double kill for Quinn. What's the scoreline right now? 5-1-2, and two. not bad, All not right, bad. Good start, good start. Gaiman is taking it slow. I think this is the way to do it. Tofu, though, got caught here, and I think he's going to die quite soon. He does at least get his spells off. Ooh, nice disruption to, you know, get a little bit more time for the team. They did rotate, like, four people here, but they stole disruption on Fishman, which is a huge steal. Top lane Storm Stormer was uh, going for a kill on oh, Ace. Oh, no. He still has Lasso, but it there's no chance for him. Duracho just stands in the fire without Mjolnir. It's very difficult to deal with him. Yeah. That yeah. static charge can be brutal against DOTs. Quinn yeah. even going further as well. Thinking of Fishman, this hook shot actually lands on a hero. Celery super proud of himself. And able to finish off Fishman, and Quinn is tanky enough. He can survive that overgrowth easily. Impressive stuff. And, and you asked about, like, how oh, did Celery? Wait. Celery is having a support fight here that's not going to nearby, but they forced him to the high ground, and Kataomi is the one who's going to get stuck. Because Celery knows a true support is but a punching bag for his scores. Just wants to annoy him. Just... <laughs> This is just a uh, cheeky TP cancel. He's uh, yeah, leaving. Yeah. They don't have Glide Beer. Middle lane knows where the real fight's happening. Tofu's been silenced and ensnared. He's done. That's pretty much a doom. He's gone for. As now, the Queen of Pain. Luckily with the BKB, she's not taking oh, too much nice. damage. Quinn is and they still the hook shot. They can reset the fight. The Rachel gets in as well. The song is being ignored to the BKBs. They're going for the supports first. Watson's the next target, but Queen. Quinn, sorry. Queen on the Queen. Cannot quite get close to him. Oh, there's the Hex. They're going to go for Storm Stormer first. That's the easier target for sure. Toby's in nearby as well. Low on HP. Toby's dead. Storm Stormer joins him in the grave. And now it's Watson. That's the real target. Fishman trying to distract him. Look at the TB from the Roger. Super aggressive. But Sprouts actually catch him. They go for the support That's instead. That's a dieback. It's the easiest kill they could get. Uh, there is so much pressure on Watson to do some hard carrying Rolling here. Rolling Thunder is available at least. Okay, Rolling Thunder, go for Ace first. There is no overgrowth. Sonic Wave pushes the Rolling Thunder away, and he's leashed. He's in the tree. He didn't even realize it. Toby just got destroyed. The Queen of Pain's working, Jenkins. Quinn's the only map that can do it this tournament. It is, it is. Yeah, that's going to be a, a hey, euphemism wait. for losing the game while being very farmed quite soon. Wait, 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 Jenkins. He's got They graves. have a last ditch smoke attempt. At least he's going to kill on Ace. It's again the Sonic Wave disengaging. Quinn's not letting them get close to his teammates. He hit BKB. He wants to go for the Batrider. They hit the hookshot as well, but they can't get the cog. Storm Stormer for now. He's fine, but here we go. The leash. Lasso immediately. He's up the MP. They're carrying him away, but Durantra's happy with this. He's in the middle of the fray, and he's just hitting whatever he sees. They're finally going for Watson, but Watson's a bit too tanky. The Overglow trying to reset the team fight. They forced them away. Durantra. Durantra's safe thanks to the disruption. Cogs. It's very difficult to get through. They can't get to the range carry. They're going for Toby instead. The damage is high, but not high enough. They can retreat in time. Gaming Gladiators will survive with their carry. Their mid laner's fine too. They get the kill on the support and a courier for free here. Yeah, Roshan is up, so a single kill here. 
even just dewarding the high ground and securing this area would be good. Yeah, Wrath of Nature, hooks it as well. Going for the support first, Fishman dead. Toby rolls in. They're actually gonna kill two supports at once and they got him with a sonic wave. They more or less guessed where he was and the area was enough. Quinn's following after Storm Stormer, who activates his BKB just to go to the high ground, but the Broodmother Mother just chased him down. This first game of the series would matter a lot for them, and they just could do it, given that leeway. They're going for, like, the long wrap around here. This is what they specialize in. What can they find? This is the fight. Maybe Tofu, but Tofu's in a really good position. Never mind. He's in a position to be caught, and they want him, actually, to die. Goodbye, Tofu, as Quinn tries to block this overgrowth immediately, but they fleece the Pango. He's stuck in a, his own pinball zone at Demise with a sonic wave. The ball's down. The song plus TP, they realize what they have to go is to leave this area. Entity got one kill, uh, and they'll and they have got to the, deal with that. They got the Rubik. Uh, you know what? Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose your Rubik. See. Rolling Thunder, okay, from behind Storm Stormer. And with the Rolling Thunder, the two cores are stunned. Duracho's stuck in the high ground, or maybe they're stuck with him, actually. He's taking over the NA base. He's actually going to kill the Naga this raid. Watson is no longer that scary. Storm Stormer dies in the back lines. They actually find Toby as well. And these two cores, we thought they were cutting the, the team fight are now dying. Sonic Wave missed. It's actually just a celebrato celebratory Sonic Wave because Quinn knows he just took this game down. Fishman dies, spawns a bunch of Spiderlings as they try to turn him into a pig. Ace will be uh, allowed to live. Duracho might be slow, but he attacks way too hard. And the lasso, even if it's off cooldown. Yeah, he's got 40 seconds on Aegis. Okay, they this gotta go. Could be a good s no, no, this overgrowth meant nothing. The BKB just ignores it. Ace is saved by a four staff. And that Song of the Siren luckily stops the fight oh, they long enough it. so they can they stop it. They can call the GG. Gaming Gladiators by picking Terrible into Morphling might have helped them a little bit here. Other yeah. than the, the old one. It, it only takes a high IQ to understand them, though. It does. Only high IQ That's can right. do that. And yeah. Toby's going to have that this game, unless he goes down here. No, he is blood. definitely going down at this rate. Look, he took the wrong trees, but they're cutting everything around him. That Domi, however, has not found a purpose in this lane yet. He couldn't even cut lanes as they deal way no. too much damage. Now he's rotating mid. Rolling Thunder also used by Quinn. And there's a rotation coming in from Celery. Is this going to be enough to kill off Storm Stormer? First the Fate Bolt, another Rolling Thunder stun, the Bushwhack hit, and they still have Telekinesis. They don't even need it. Swashbuckle, and Storm Stormer falls. And if you're securing the runes, then probably Lesh is not going to go to a side lane either. Down bottom, and the Rubik is alone this time, and no amount of armor should save him from this. They throw a tree to his face, and they get the kill, giving Silencer no intelligence. They're going to rotate to the bot tower and try to take that instead. Oh, Telekinesis in the mid lane. They want to catch Watson, but he does have to accurate. Got to be shift in time. Now, under the tower, the reinforcement are coming. With a sharpshooter, though, is that going to be enough damage? They miss it! So it doesn't really matter. Watson's fine. But the Tiny might not be in the same position. Kataomi being chased down by a bunch of spiderlings. He is going to die. As Storm Stormer tries to chase down the spider. He has a haste. Hasm used. He's countering the hoodwink. And thanks to the haste, he'll be able to get away with the kill. As the rest of Gaming Gladiators commit to this tower, they don't care about the Dream Protector right now as Ace has joined them. Although he's only died once this game. No, no, that's not good. Tofu, what a push! Ooh, nice catches double. two. I wanted to say supports once actually a core, and he's already dead. Kataomi in a similar position. One last avalanche tosses the spider away. Fight the rolling thunder, but it'll affect him for now. Watson, that push wow. actually hits. Max range. Yes, that was incredible by Tofu. Global silence to turn this around. Home for the squirrel, overgrowth. Now she's the one stuck in the trees. She's gonna suffer from her own medicine. They do have Watson turn into a squirrel with Ooh, another one. Catches another support. But the armor on this Rubik is absurd. He actually stole the attribute ship. Sorry, not the armor. It's actually just the HP in Watson. He faced himself now because of the attribute ship Rubik. Now Watson's in trouble. Maybe overextended Katomi, saving him a little bit with the Avalanche. Swashbuckle, all the nukes onto Watson. Is he going to finally die? They got him. They throw a spot into Trin that's going to give vision of him. But Toby is the real target. Don't let the Silencer get any smarter. Uh, and then the, nice. the debuff amp. Okay, this could work. Avalanche, Splitter. They combine it nicely. They need a root of some kind. Toss will do the trick for now, but Ace. There we go. Finally, the overgrowth forced out. With the, with the tree and armor as well. They found Toby, that's for sure. They need the hoodwink nearby. Toby is so slow. So weak. So killable. He's going to die to the acorn shot and a shield crash. Storm Stormer, though. Not as weak, not as killable, but it seems like this time they might just accomplish a sharpshooter to the face, and Storm Stormer's dead. Entity have no space to play, no place to farm. And he's going to go use that to farm Ancients. That's a That's classic. a carry move, yeah. That's a carry move right there. But Entity, oh, the smoke actually gets discovered. It's going to be Ace. He's not even afraid of the smoke. Target Quinn. Global Silence on top of this, Quinn. How long can he tank? 
Apparently damage pretty high. Quinn is going to die here. At the same time, though, Toby will fall to the Sharpshooter. Stormstormer is tanking everything else, and his Bloodstone is not healing enough because of the Scotty. So even in a good fight, Duracho might just turn this around. Aiming Gladiator showing who the real carry is here. Fishman, oh my god, three, four hits, and he's down. And now Watson stuck to the tree. The Scotty doesn't let him activate shift enough. He's dead. All of Entity, they're being squashed like bugs. Another great play from Celery in that fight. He had a big double stun with the Lesh stun. Uh, if this offlane silencer from Toby, it is getting exposed this game. It is, it is. By the Rubik and the TB. Uh, do look at Duracho. He, he, he actually has this chewing gum. He doesn't have to do anything in this game. He's that's I think that's what Bing Chilling means. Yeah, I I think they are definitely Bing Chilling in this game. Look, look at Toby. Look oh, at poor Toby. No. He shows himself and he dies. Yeah. Tofu's also been a bit of an unsung hero this game. I feel like he's hitting a lot of max range bushwhacks. It's kind of insane. It's insane. Like so much so that Watson is not getting the attribute shift up because he's like, it's not gonna hit me. Why would I shift? Right. And then it hits him. I think you can kill the supports. And okay. that's a good catch to start. Yeah, it could Tofu. Be. Never no, mind. No, not a good catch. In fact, I think they might have killed. That, yeah, they killed Fishman on mistake. All right. That well, wasn't even meant for him. It just happened. He caught some strays there. That yeah, is did. right. How did they come back into this game? I mean, they're holding on because of something. Uh, okay, I said. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, they can kill the support. That's what you said. They're going for Ace. He's not a support, but they can kill him instead. This would be pretty huge, Ace. How long can he tank? Apparently long enough. Even with the global science, Ace is fine. His Grief saves him. Sharpshooter now. Storm Stormer pretty low. Fate pulled with Avalanche. Catches both of his two heroes from Entity. They die quickly. Gaming Gladiators are not phased by this. Oh, man. Toby almost died in an instant there. Getting caught up by the TP. Not getting caught up by the TP. Getting caught up by the TB as he was TPing. Yep. Yeah, I mean, this is a stomp, man. This is just... I would not have expected this from these teams. Telekinesis, goodbye. Watson is dead. Watson, I thought for a second that was the Hoodwink, and I realized, nope, he's just as, as squishy as the Hoodwink. Gaming Gladiators, they take no prisoners. They destroy Entity in this series.